Hey everyone, it's Lauren here. Welcome to my channel and today I'm sharing with you a 9 by 12 inch pocket style scrapbooking page. Now if you had popped onto my channel yesterday, you would have seen that I did a 9 by 12 inch layout using the beautiful Felicity Jane Lola collection, oh, not Lola, Sarah collection. It's a digital collection and I talked about using that in scrapbooking. And this is the page that goes beside it in my scrapbooking um, 2020 Project Life scrapbooking album. So I wanted to do a title page and then I wanted to document the little little thoughts and feelings and things like that in a in a pocket style uh, spread next to it. I hope that's all making sense. I sound like I'm a bit mumble jumble today. But the reason why I just want to have a little bit of a chat with you about um, the Felicity Jane digital set and I have managed to make some custom digital cards. Now the Felicity Jane when you purchase a digital kit it comes with the papers, it comes with journaling cards and it comes with ephemera and it comes with stamps. And I, all I do is I open up my Silhouette Studio software and I drag those elements that I want to use into the software and then I use the print and cut feature and cut it out. But the one thing that I've taken to doing a little bit more, which I did yesterday in my album, in my layout using the kit, was I layered over some of the ephemera pieces over the journaling card. So as you can see, I know I apologize for the light. It was a really overcast day. And so my lights are like really shining and there's no natural light going on here at all. <laughs> um, but that good times card that you just saw there, um, it, it is two of the digital ephemera elements and it is one of the journaling cards. And I simply, I have a Mac and I simply dragged the ephemera over the top of the journaling card in the Silo Silhouette Studio software. So I drag the flower first and then I drag good times first and then I group them together. So when I move them around the page on my software, they would stay together. Now, this was a new thing for me. This is as digital scrapbooking as I'm going to get because I do not know how to use uh, Photoshop. That is a goal for another day. Um, but when I'm using digital elements, this is as technical as I'm going to get. But I really love the fact that I could make my own little three by four inch cards there that were custom. Like I, I chose that flower and I chose that digital element to sit on top of it. And it was a little bit of digital scrapbooking in amongst my traditional style scrapbooking, which is product there. The other one, the other card that I did it on as well is the one with all the, the little um, pocket card there that has the yellow today on it. So the journaling card was just covered in hearts and I dragged that today digital ephemera element over the top of it and I enlarged it so it filled the space that I wanted it to fill in and then I grouped them together and I had that three by four inch card. So if you're a little bit nervous about um, digit buying a digital kit, this is an easy way that digital kits can be incorporated into traditional style scrapbooking and it's 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 an easy way for me who is not tech savvy at all so i encourage you to if you're thinking about buying a digital kit um, and you use the silhouette software to cut out your ephemera pieces and and use the print and cut feature that this is a really easy way to go about it so as you can see, I'm just scrapbooking um, my little girl and our puppy and we went for a walk on the riverbank and then I've got another couple of pickies down the bottom there of her when we went for a quick afternoon swim. Um, and yeah, I guess that's the COVID-19 lifestyle is that we got to do um, all, all after school activities have stopped and we get to do things like go for quick beach swims in the afternoon which I guess in this really horrible scary stressful time these these are the little bits of gold that we can look forward to um, the little journaling card they are not I didn't modify that at all that's one of the journaling cards as is and it's super sweet and I knew that I wanted to write a few things about um, the photos that you see here today and I've just so I added that down the bottom 
I also have some little pieces of ephemera there that I cut out and they were just digital elements and I resized them to the size that I wanted and I'm just going to add those little bits and bobs around there and those little um, journaling tabs there that you've seen me put on those couple of photos they're really great because I've been able to resize them to the size that I wanted for this layout and I'll add just my thoughts and feelings on those particular photos there as well. I had that beautiful floral die cut there and I just wanted to um, I wanted a little bit of it and I also just thought I'm going to use up those excess little bits and add a, a little bit of an intricate floral detail just there on that top photo um, there and that just sort of breaks up that harsh edge of that photo tab there but still gives me plenty of space to add my journaling and another little embellishment if that's what I want to do. So my journaling I'm using a really fine pen it is a 0.1 so it's really thin because I don't want it to be really heavy and take over my photos and I think this 9 by 12 inch page usually my traditional style is lots of layers lots of embellishment but by me being able to make custom make my own little journaling cards there I've managed to make a really flat page that's not going to bulk out my project life album and um, I'm really happy with it because it is so pretty and I've also pushed myself pushed myself into the digital world a little bit and I've created a layout that I'm really happy with so yeah at this point I was thinking I want to leave my journaling till later so I'm going to flick in a minute and you'll see my journaling cards all written on there um, off because I did them off camera and um, and my layout's complete so if you're new to my channel welcome I'd love you to be a subscriber if you like my style and I hope I make sense and to my current subscribers thanks for hanging in there thanks for watching and supporting my little channel take care guys happy scrapping bye Thank you.